It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Thursday, the 7th of April. I'm Michael Groff. Very warm and extremely dry conditions will continue around here for the next several days. Temperatures well above average. But we are still anticipating a pattern change by the early and middle part of next week. An increase in clouds, winds, maybe a few showers across northern Arizona. But yeah, the chances of us seeing anything down here pretty low as you would expect this time of year. Let's talk about it first looking at the almanac from yesterday. 95 degrees the afternoon high. 65 was the morning low. The normal high 84. The normal low 59. And taking a look at current conditions across the valley right now. 84 degrees at Sky Harbor here at 11.05 a.m. But it is drier than a Stephen Wright joke out there. The dew points at 2. Relative humidity 4%. The winds are light and the barometer 30.11 inches and falling. The upper air look shows a big ridge building in here across the west, a dry northwesterly flow aloft. Yes, that has ushered in extremely dry conditions all the way down to the surface. And with those dry conditions and high pressure around, temperatures will just soar during the day, but drop off rather nicely during the overnight hours. Meanwhile, a big trough moving into the Great Lakes in the northeast. The watch warning map between those two systems, there's just a lot of wind across the Plain States, and that has created a number of wind advisories, high wind warnings, red flag warnings, extreme fire danger, even fire warnings on the board across parts of Oklahoma this morning. And a few winter weather advisories further to the north as well, some snowflakes flying. We've had a little bit of severe weather across the southeast U.S. along the Atlantic coast this morning. And check that out to the convective outlook for today. There is that risk of severe storms from Florida up to the middle Atlantic states. And here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through Thursday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, probably nothing. Statewide, a little bit of light rain or maybe high elevation snow across the rim country, the higher terrain of northern and eastern Arizona. But that's going to be just about it. It is the dry season. After all, we don't generally expect any precipitation this time of year. So let's break it down in more detail as we take a look at the models. Here we go. This is the GFS. It's the 12Z run. This is valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Big ridge in the west, nosing all the way up into western Canada. Heights well above average. Big trough in the east. High amplitude pattern. So what it means for us down at the surface today, sunny, very warm. Highs low to mid 90s. Tonight clear, overnight lows upper 50s to mid 60s. Tomorrow sunny, maybe just a skosh warmer. High temperatures in the mid to perhaps upper 90s. Same thing on Saturday, mid to upper 90s. The national blend of models is printing out a high of 97 degrees and has just over a 20% chance that we could hit the century mark. The hottest desert spots of Southeast California and Southwest Arizona probably will see a few triple digits. We've been talking about that for a few days. Here we go to Sunday. We've got troughing now developing over the Pacific Northwest and just off the coast, and that's going to help to flatten out our ridge here across the Southwest. So temperatures will head down several degrees here. Highs more toward the low 90s for Sunday, mid to upper 80s on Monday with mostly sunny sky. And then Tuesday, the trough dives southeastward through the western states. But recent deterministic model output is lining up uh, with our ensemble guidance, which is now showing a somewhat shallower trough. Still some cold air associated with it, but the brunt of that, is, as well as the dynamic support and any moisture with this, should stay to the north of us. So maybe some widely scattered showers across northern Arizona on Tuesday. We can't rule out an isolated, brief passing shower in Phoenix Tuesday afternoon. Call it partly sunny. High temperatures falling back toward the upper 70s. Wednesday, this is likely to be the coolest day of the forecast period. Perhaps the coolest day we have for the next, I don't know, six and a half or seven months. Highs in the low to mid 70s with a mostly sunny sky. Then here we go, a week from today, Thursday, the 14th of April. Another trough coming into the west. This one, again, looks to probably pass to the north of us. Could give us a brief round of breezy conditions and slightly cooler temperatures, though, by the end of next week. And then as we go out 10 days, this is Saturday, the 16th. That trough now moving off into the Plain States. Going to create some unsettled weather there. A ridge building in behind it, and that looks dry and warmer. Looking at rainfall for Phoenix going out through the 21st of April, coming off of the GFS Ensemble, not very optimistic. It is likely we will not see any precipitation anytime soon, of course. And temperatures off the national blend of models. Yeah, 97 tomorrow and Saturday. And then we will cool off a bit. Not nearly as much as what was originally thought, though, but highs still going down into the 70s. And that will feel very refreshing, especially after we are so close to the triple digits. 
And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, suggestions. And music fans, I encourage you to check out my streaming station. It's called KMGX. We play a ton of music, have a lot of fun doing that. It is myself and the one and only Michelle involved in the programming operation voicing of that station. So, of course, you're going to listen, and I leave a link to it in the description. Thank you so much for watching. All of your continued support it is greatly appreciated. You guys be safe, stay cool out there, and have yourselves an amazing Thursday.